Hey guys, Two V with Two V's Woodworking over here, and I want to give you guys some help or some knowledge about claims, insurance companies, and wooden fences. We've had a lot of requests for quotes to give to insurance companies so people can make claims against their fences that fell down. And a lot of people are only making the claims against their fences. And this is why I wouldn't do it myself and why I don't recommend other people to do it. But again, I can't give you any advice. I can't tell you what to do because I'm not an insurance agent and I don't do financial stuff. So it's not my job, but you do with this information what you want. So insurance companies, first of all, their job is to make money. Second of all, they see fences, especially wooden fences, as actual cash value, which means that your fence has a lifespan of 20 years, costs $10,000 to replace. Your insurance company is going to look at that 20 years and they're going to prorate. They're going to look at the $10,000. They're going to prorate it on 20 years. So if your fence is over 20 years, then you're not getting anything for it. If your fence is 15 years old, you're only going to get $2,500 for it. So as a result of that, plus your deductible, when you make a claim against your insurance for a fence you are likely going to get very little, if any money at all, from your insurance companies. That's why fences are better off not being claimed against your insurance company unless you have additional damage. So if your roof got damaged and there's damage to the side of your house and there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on, well, after this, if you add the fence, the fence will help eat up some of that deductible so you get more money from the insurance company to actually fix your house. But because most people that we've dealt with only had damage to their fence from that big windstorm, a lot of them went to the insurance companies and filed a claim. Well, two weeks later, they had a hailstorm and some of them got damaged from the hailstorm and now they have two claims and now their insurance premiums are gonna go up. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, you're better off not doing it because you're going to have to pay for it anyway and the insurance isn't going to be helping you out. So if you can finance it through one of your credit cards, if you can finance it through a bank, there's plenty of different options. You can, we try to help people as much as we can. But if you can do it without involving your insurance company, if all you have is damage to your fence, I would recommend you doing that. Other than that, if you have any questions, give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help. Um, that's about it. So, hey, have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. I hope this I hope this information helped you out in one way or another. And before you file a claim with your insurance company, talk to somebody that knows what they're doing so they can help you and guide you and tell you what to do because insurance companies are evil. They're mean. Their job is to make money, not give it away. Remember that. All right. Same with healthcare companies, but we're not here for that. That's for another video on my TikTok at Two Vs Wood. See you later.